Hi everyone, so we've got rid of probability and we're back to a bit of trig. Who doesn't like a bit of trig? So looking at the box on the front, we've got five lessons, so that's okay. Uh, put this box over here a bit. Right, <laughs> gone too far. Was anything on that page? No. Yeah. Right then, so let's have a look at this. So, <laughs> there's quite a few formulas. Um, which are shown here. We've actually got six formulae here. I'm ignoring the box at the top for the moment. Now you've got, you see how this top one has got pluses on the top? So it's actually two formula. It's sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, so that was if I went along the top. But if I go along the bottom of this formula, now this says addition formula. If you look it up, it'll call it a compound angle formula. So anything that says compound angle, that's what you're actually doing. I've got another one which is sine A minus B is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. And it's the same with the cos one. So cos A plus B will be cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. So if I look along the top for this one, I've got cos A plus B, is cos A cos B, oops, minus sine A sine B. And I can have cos of A minus B as cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So same idea, top and bottom. And that kind of messes with people's heads a little bit. It's the same with tan, but I'm not going to draw it out. So if you're on the top line of the plus minus, you stick with whatever's on the top. If you're on the bottom of the plus minus, you stick with whatever's on the bottom. And tan's a bit of a combination of both of them. This bit at the top, the starter part, is just showing you that sine A plus B in a bracket is not sine of A plus sine of B. So if they've said if A is 30 and B is 60, sine of A plus B is 1. Whereas if I follow the formula, I don't follow the formula. If I just do it as I did together, it's not the same. So that's kind of what that's supposed to be doing. It's just pushing the fact that you've got to follow the formula and you can't just make up your own marks. Right then, so let's have a look at this. So it says expand and simplify cos of x plus pi by pi. So now is that an issue then for us? That arrow makes me think that in your path it looks slightly different. Um, I think in the past, if it's just been a random arrow, it's just to tell you to watch out that something's a bit different. Right, so I'm going to look at using cos of A plus B, which is cos A cos B minus, because I'm going along the top, so I'm doing the top, so I'm doing the top, sine A, sine B. So my A in this example is X, and B is pi by 3. And the pi by 3 is telling me I'm in radians as well, aren't I? So I'll write that down there as well. Right then. So it's going to be cos of x times by cos of pi by 3 minus sine of x times by sine of pi by 3. So think about it. in the olden days, before we had calculators, you didn't kind of know what cos of 
I don't know, 25 degrees was. But you might be able to make the 25 as a combination of pluses and minuses with ones that you knew. So that's kind of the idea behind this. But our calculator doesn't want this for us. Right, so where are we at then? So cos of pi by 3 is a half. So that would be a half of the cos x. Sine of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2. There. I could take the half out as a factor, but it's not really much there for you. Alright. So there's a question for you where you have to use the two formula. So sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. And then sine of a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So let's see how they've done it on here. There, there we go. So you've got the sine a plus b. You've got the sine a minus b. Expand your brackets and see what you get. That's quite a nice tricky algebra thing of cancelling out there. Because if you look, the sine a cos b cancels with the sine a cos b. And I've got two lots of cos a sine b. Right now, there are specific values, special values that you can have for from the triangles. Now, you've done the triangles at school. You had like a, a right angle triangle from 4 to 5, where if you had a 1 and a 1, that gave you a root 2. And that's where this line has come from. In a similar vein, you had a 30-60 triangle, where it was half of an equilateral triangle of sides 2. So that was 1. So that's 30, you can see it. That's 60. And then that becomes uh, root 3. And that's where you kind of like got all your signs and causes for 30 and 60 and tan 30 and 60 from. We don't have to really be that much fussed about that try and try and take that. Right now then, so let's think about using these. Um, so tan 15, I need to think of it as multiples of, or pluses and minuses in the number. Now what the completed pack does, it sees tan 15 as being tans tan of. So I've got to think about 30s and 60s and 45s. So to get a 15, I'm going to do it as 60 and take 45. So I'm going to use the tan A minus B formula. Right, so let me pause it a second while I write out the formula. So I'm worried about wasting time. So the formula for tan A minus tan B is tan A minus tan B over 1 plus tan A times tan B. My A is 60. And my B is 45. So I just replace A and B. I'm just going to pause it again. Yeah, all right. Right, so tan 15... So tan 60 is root 3, tan 45 is 1, then I've got 1 plus root 3 times 1. Now that is going to give me root 3 minus 1 over 1 plus root 3. I'm running out of times. If you, uh, time, if you serve it up, you'll get the right answer for 2 minus root 3. But I'm running out of time there. So it will work if you do it, but you can follow the maths for it. There's another one for 75. So for this one, we've done it as 45 plus 30. We could have done nine, well, which one? 90 minus 15. I am running out of time with this. I don't want to start a second example. Um, so I'm going to stop the vid there. But I hope that kind of made sense. So just do serves from last year. Because if it's a show that, you can't just put the right answer. Sorry about that, everyone. Right, bye-bye.